nothing on it. Okay, we are back. With Shining Force, Resurrection of the Dark Dragon. And in this part, we'll be taking our new character, Blue. And we will be taking on Kay. Ufost. This battle is actually quite fun, in my opinion. At least I think it is. I don't even know. Is it or isn't it? I don't even remember now. It's been so long since I've recorded this. Actually, I'm recording this on a Sunday. The 25th. So, you know, just so you know, these videos will be uploaded whenever I put this commentary in. So, you'll be seeing it on Sunday, September 25th. Even though I recorded it, when did I record this? A couple weeks ago, I think, actually? I don't, I don't even know. I really don't know. Anyway, of course we're doing our item arranging, which is also fun. But you know it is. Alright, here we go. Defeat Kane. You ready to begin the battle? Yes. You are a fool to come back here so boldly. Did you really think you could defeat me, Halo? I don't think I can do her voice. Rain Fair is over. Gain, you scumbag, I'll make you pay for laying waste to my homeland. I'm Luca the Gardenia of Bar Band of Warriors. I don't know. You're the one who killed my grandma and grandpa. Kate, let's finish this. Well, they do have spirit for cannon fodder. Come and get some. I'll take you all on. Started out with Gort. And me. Domingo. Gook. I'm sure you can see how this goes. Look at Kane. 70 HP. 70. Now, you may notice there's not too many enemies here. Ah, here we go with Hanzo. 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 It's like, oh, I've got gargoyles. 18 HP. They are not as big of a pain in the ass as they were in the first game. Well, the original, really. The original, uh, they were a big pain. They're still a pain in this game, but not as much. Not as much. One point of damage. Golems. Golems. Terrible. Uh, Amon. She needs the experience, but not too strong. She just did 12 points of damage to it. Ah, Fury and Flurry of Attacks. That she missed. So she could have knocked out in one turn. We have Ernest. Ernest. He has new Halberd. He deals 20 points of damage. New enemy? It's nothing for Ernest. Ernest is quite the star player. Quite the star player. But, uh... Well, you can kind of see how this battle's playing out. We shouldn't have much of a problem here. Uh, Narsha. Narsha! Though she may not look it, is a really good, great character. And... I mean, just with this spell she's doing, she gets 30 experience points off of it, and she raises their attack power by 5 points. No, Luke and Hanzo don't need that. Xylo could use it. Well, for the golems he could. No, everything else he could probably just one shot. And here goes Blue. 
blue is... I'm sure I said this before, or I didn't. But blue, I mean, he, he's an alright character. Oh, there goes guns. Blue is a good character. But... He's not so much attack oriented in this version. Like in the original, he had really great attack. He's not so good on the defense department. Or in this one, he's good on the defense department. Not so much the attack. They pretty much turned him into a tank with this version. And once we promote him, you'll see that. You will see that. He gets to be quite the character once we hit that. But, um, in other, in other news, um, I'm not really recording this as, fa as, as fast as I would want to, which kind of sucks, but, um, lost for words here. Jeez, man. I don't even know what to say. Ah. <sighs> I'm not recording this as often as I should be, and even if I was recording this really fast, I don't get much time to do this commentary. It's kind of why I'm doing it at 8.13 at night on a Sunday. I could have done it earlier, but I was kind of busy on my Wii playing games. Then I decided to take three hours to play Monster Hunter. Yeah. Well, at least I got something done. Of it. But um, I got a couple of ideas for LPs to do if we ever finish this one. Um, there's a game I've been playing in between recordings, Shining Soul 2. It's basically in this kind of game, this kind of series. It's not directly related to this, but it's still kind of in the series. It's a shining game, as is this. Um, it's a somewhat tougher game. Um, it does have multiplayer capabilities, but it's a an advanced game, so I don't really think Dead Play Dead Play works too well on that. So I kind of be doing that by myself. But um. I've almost finished it off with my warrior, and I noticed I'm severely underleveled in that game. I've ran into enemies that look somewhat like Gumby for some reason. If you know who Gumby is, because I sure don't, I just know what he looks like. They look—they actually look like Gumby, and they're like, I think, I think the game said they were level 129. I think that's what it said. I'm, my guy yesterday just hit level 40, which would seem incredible, especially in this game. Jesus. Hit level 40, you know, how could you do that? Like the guys on my practice file, I mean, I'm bottoming them out at level 30. Because really, once they hit that, there's only two enemies in the final battle they can really get any real experience from, because everything else gives them like one point. There's a lot of weak enemies in that final battle, though. It's like two really good ones. They're strong, too. Have we seen them in this? I don't, I don't think we actually have seen them yet in this game. Um, we might have. No, no, I don't think we did. Uh, oh, yeah, we did. Um, in the Bulbasack fight. Those blue dragons, if anybody remembers those. Yeah. Those things become a regular enemy, um, later on. Not so much in this chapter, but really, chapter 8, they start popping up a lot. Difficult enemies, you know, 50 HP, level 35, you know, not fun. But that, there's blue attack. He shoots a fireball. I would make a Brawl Taunts reference. But feeling kind of under the weather, so I probably can't hit that note. So that 
that's that's not good. I had this all weekend for some reason. I like, really started up yesterday. Got really bad yesterday. But um So anyway, I mean Sh Shining Soul is a good game. Just it takes a while to beat. Like I'm just trying to go through and get all the monster cards. Because apparently if you do that you get some special reward. Which actually happens to be, I think, some dialogue from Yogurt. You know, that little sexy beaver with the hat in this game. Yeah, he's also in that one. Which kinda tells you how they're in the same series. It's Yogurt's in both of them. Um, Yogurt doesn't make much of an appearance in both of these games, as you may well know. He's got his appearance in number one. I don't know what happened there. He's got his appearance in chapter one. You don't really see him until chapter four when you actually recruit him. And he's really not that great of an offensive character. Obviously, since all his stats are one. And he does not level up. You, you may think he does, but he doesn't. He bots up at one for every stat. Can actually what happens if you do try to level them up. I think something does happen. I just don't remember what it is. I think in this, if you defeat an enemy with yogurt, you'll get a yogurt ring, which you can give to one of your allies and they will look like yogurt. I think that's what happens. But, I mean, he's yogurt, he, you know, he's really a useless character, he's just thrown in there for probably for laughs. I don't really know. But, yeah, Shining Soul, good game. Uh, bosses are difficult. And I will admit to using a cheat code on one of them, because just the way it was moving, it was too difficult to hit, and it did too much damage, which probably showed how I was underleveled. Because it was like this, um... Uh, how do I explain it? it was like a segmented... What was it? Whatever it was, it was segmented, and like it would, it would just stop and shoot the pieces off in all kinds of different directions. And they themselves would do damage, then they join back up with the main body and all that. So it was just that it was just a lovely fight. So I just said, you know, let's screw that. Infinite HP cheat. Boom. Then goes Hanzo. 14 points of damage. And it counter attacks. It does 18 points of damage to him. <sighs> ah, the one thing I hate about being sick. Talk too much. My voice shows it. Alright, there goes Hanzo. He might need to do a little bit of grinding for that. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I've already recorded the episode after this. Wait, no. No, I haven't actually. Crap. After this, I actually, um, do grinding and get everybody up to a certain level. I believe I get blue up to level 10 because he doesn't reach it in this fight. Um, I get Hanzo up to level 10, which takes quite some time. Um, I get Domingo up to level 10. I get pretty much everybody up to level 10. And as you may well know, 10 is the promotion level. I didn't promote anybody. So, I don't really know what happens to Hanzo when he gets promoted, but I'm sure he gets more powerful. Only time will tell. I'm sure you'll find out in the next episode. Whenever I decide to record that. And there's Cain's attack. Does exactly 21 damage. And 
as you may well notice, Kane has two swords. He's carrying a broadsword, and one of the swords is legend, the Darksaber. If that's how it's called in this game. I, I think in the original they had a different name for it. Um, I think there's another sword we have to pick up, which... I think in the original it's just called the li Sword of Light, and in this it's something like a lightsaber. Aha, Star Wars reference? I don't know. What point of damage to Kane? Then he counterattacks. He does 22 points of damage to Amon. Yay! Sorry if you guys can hear that. Ooh, nice attacker. It's 40 points of damage. Nice. Nice. Ernest gains level. That's not bad. That's not bad. And there goes Ilo. Narsha at this stage is not the most offensive character, but she can, she can still do damage, as she's meant to when you first get her. But really, until you really promote her, she's not too useful of a character, but when she gets a promotion, she gets really useful. She gains a spell that will help out guns, as you may well know. Guns doesn't move very far. Nice, eight points of damage. Guns doesn't move very far. Narsha gets a spell called Step, which actually increases the uh, movement stat, so they can move farther. I do Supernova. What a nice attack, and I do 27 points of damage to Kane. And as you would expect, Ningo doesn't really do any damage. Let's see how much Luke does. Luke does 8 points of damage. Not bad. Counter attack. 1. Luke wins. One point of damage. Alright, in we have Ernest. How much is Ernest gonna do? My dull hand. Okay, super attack. 18 points of damage. So this is things are still quite defensive. A super attack only did 18. But nevertheless, Ernest wiped it out. Get what I did there. I think I had to tend to a attend to something. I don't remember what it was though. Ooh. I'm attacking. I do. 14 points damage. Yes. Flurry of attacks. I am victorious. Oh, you know. Yes. And I leveled up. Speed went up 5 points. HP went up 2. MP went up 2. Got the Cane card. Which you can only get. Ooh, I also got the Ogre Slayer. Arr! It, it hurts. The mask. The mask. The mask. It's breaking! What? Well, where am I? What? What have I been doing? Ah! Now I remember! Dark Soul was using that mask in order to control me. He used me to do his bidding. I have a fault with you. My old brother! What have I done? Yeah. They're brothers. What in the world did Cain be by them? What is that voice? I'm... Cain's brother? I don't understand. I haven't found the Book of Secrets yet, either. I'm curious about that dragon shrine. You should search it. Should we? Or should we go here? I think we should go here. Do some reviving. Um, Jesus. 
not feeling so good. So I was considering doing an LP of Shining Soul 2. But I don't know what character I'll choose, so I might create like a trailer or something for that. Um, showing what the characters can do. I'm, I don't really have a big selection for this, I'm really just choosing uh, between a warrior an archer, um, a brawler, and a ninja. So I don't really like magic users. It's just not how I am. Like, I, I mean, I, I I used to be at a used to be a time when I really didn't like archers. Where I was just straight, you know, warrior. That's all I would do. Then I. I started really looking into it, and I saw that the bow is still a pretty awesome level. At least I think it's how it went. I don't remember, it was, it was quite some time ago. Huh. Huh. But, um, so that's one LP I can do. Um, another LP I can do is, um, crap, what was it gonna be? Uh, you may have already seen this on my channel. That's all Dark Souls doing. They wore a mask, sorry, those terrible things. Are you really my brother? Lost my memory, I don't remember a thing. Oh yes, but we must talk about this some other time. Book of Secrets in that villain's hands. I need to stop skipping this deck so damn fast. What I need you to do is do live commentary. That's what I need to do. Speaking of live commentary, actually, I, bet I can actually work that into this. Once this is over, I will try to get to that. It's okay, and you finally recovered your memory. Dark Soul, you, you treacherous snake, you manipulated me. Thanks for your help. Now I have the book, I have no need for you. Gate east of Runefoss, and you'll be sent to hell. Don't just stand there, you have to get out of here. It's between me and him, stay out of the way. Don't die on me, Halo. Yeah, I know the 324's in there, I just don't say it. I have to run over Halo. Halo, are you okay? I just the horribly evil presence. They disappeared. Oh, my brother. So yeah, Dark Soul and my brother just disappeared. What happened there? What happened there? I don't know. I really don't know. But yes, we are heading back. Heading back to the town. Mudo. Now. I don't know if I mentioned it since it was so long ago, but there's a secret character you can get in this town. And from what I've seen, you can get it as soon as you get here. And I believe what I do Okay, I think I remember what I was doing there. Yeah, um if you saw that pause that was actually me um, quickly pausing the recording and pulling up a website I'm using. So I know all these locations. So I pulled that up so I can have it in the background for when I look for um, this secret character. So what I was actually doing at this point was just playing the game with the screen behind it. So I would just glance over and like, oh, that's where I go. Right. Uh, 
Uh, Corinne's got something to tell me. What's she want? Oh wait, she's not up there. I are smart. Now my dog. Say yes. Gotta go talk to her. Welcome back, Halo. Everyone's really happy to tell them how something was because. If you really want to read that text, you can you can just pause the video and watch it and read it. Hopefully, when I do the next video, I'll actually uh, pretend that I'm doing it live. Just like read it over in my head. That way, if I'm doing post commentary like this, I can still read it and not be skipping through the text like the runaway guys did on Mario Party. You know, if you know who they are, and you should, you should, because those guys are awesome. Except for that Proton John fellow. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I, I don't think I need uh, Proton John angry at me. Um, yeah. He needs to update more. I mean, his Kaizo re reactions were hilarious. But, um, yeah. What were you saying, thanks? Yeah, you get Blue's card. So, if you wanted to use Moloch, you just put that card on him, and you, of course, you would have to put put him in a slot where he could use a useful character and then just go into that and I I don't use Moloch I don't really see the point I didn't use him in the original because he wasn't there I don't use him now but yeah one of the steps to getting this secret character is you have to go all the way around town just to get to this one little sign the boy. My boy? No. I don't have a boy. My boy. Nah. I don't have a boy. Oh, cutscene you're not supposed to see yet. This is basically the cutscene you see when you go to go to the next area, which is another fight. But, I gotta get something first. That something is, of course, the secret character. Who... I, I did a little bit of research on him, and apparently he's got the best attack in the game. Like, I think he starts out with the same attack power as me. He's at level 1. So let's go get him. After we talk to this boy or something. Oh, we look at the shirt. Yeah. This appears on the white fabric. Search the statue. Ah, oh, that dragon statue we saw before. Wonder what's over there. I don't see anybody. Musashi. Ah, you found me. Yeah, this guy's Japanese and I can't do No point in looking. My name is Musashi. I'm a traffic swordsman. I've been staying in this village, trying to achieve a state of true nothingness. That is why you cannot see me. He wants to cross swords with a mighty opponent. Opponent. That opponent... According to the little story about Hanzo and Musashi... Pretty sure Hanzo and Musashi want to clash, but I don't believe they do. Don't know yet. First time getting them. No, no. So let's go see if we can find Musashi. If that's what I did here. I don't think it was. Uh, what did I do? That is Musashi. He gets one weapon. A katana. That's all he needs. And unfortunately, we have to get rid of Amon. Because... She's an alright character in the first few chapters that you have her. But really? I mean... She... She's a defense. She's the defensive bird man, or bird woman, I guess it would be. But you don't find out until you get to this game. But 
but, um... I don't think the original they actually tell you about that. That they're actually married. Fear not! With this sword I shall slay any evil that may rear its ugly head. I have walked the path of the sword for as long as I can remember. I tried, but it's in vain, for I cannot simply tell tales like others can. But I might be able to speak a little about the path of the sword. If that would interest you, please come here when you have the opportunity. Jeez. This cold is really affecting the voice. It, 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 it sounds like it is. I can't tell. Make your desire. But yeah, Amon is an okay character. I mean, I, ha I gotta say, Amon is an okay character. And Balfouroy is a somewhat better character. But I'm gonna have to... You know what? Just see you in the next part. Bye.